Well, praise the Lord, everyone. It's a special edition of 153greatfish.com. Today, we're going to learn about the judgment that is falling on false Christianity. And let's begin by praying. Jesus, we love you, Lord. We praise you, mighty God. We ask you, Lord, to send the everlasting gospel to those who need to hear it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let's go immediately to our PowerPoint. The title of today's study is Islam, Judgment on the Tidal Baptizers. Islam is identified as the end time judgment on false Christians who do not know Jesus as father and son. Here we see a picture of Islam riding on the four horses of the apocalypse. This is found in Revelation 6, 1 through 8. Here we see al barak that was Muhammad's horse. We see the flag of Isis. We see Erdogan, who is threatening Israel. We see the Ayatollah, Khomeini, who is threatening Israel. The four colors of Islam are red, green, black, and white. And we know that Islam is the end time force against false doctrines. Let's read this in 1 John 2.22. Who is a liar but he that denies that Jesus is the Messiah Christ? He is Antichrist that denies the Father and the Son. This statement is saying that Jesus is Father, but he's also Son. He's divine, but he's flesh. He's the Son of God, and he has the Spirit of God in him, the full word to wit, God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. If you see Jesus, you see the Father. He's the only Father that you can see. When you get to heaven, you'll see one throne and one sitting on the throne, Jesus Christ. There are not three persons in the Godhead. There is one person, and his name is Jesus, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Here we see the, the flag of the Arab revolt, Revelation 6, 1 through 8, identifying the four horsemen of the apocalypse, white, red, black, and green. It's a judgment on this form of Christianity. Let's read. The title baptizers, who are they? They say, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. The source of this doctrine is Nicaea, 325 AD, the Council of Nicaea. Notice that Father is a title. Your presenter today is a father. I have two sons. My father makes me a son. And the name of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is not a name. <laughs> These are titles. And the title baptizers originated here. Babylon whore is identified. Purple and red are the colors of the Roman army. This whore is found in Revelation 17, 1 through 6. If you are joined with this prostitute in doctrine or in ecumenicism, Jesus commands you to come out from them and be separate, Revelation 17, 3. 1 Corinthians 6 says this in verses 15 through 16. Don't you know that your bodies are members of Christ? Then taking the members of Christ, shall you make them members of a harlot? No way. Or don't you know that being joined to a harlot creates one body? For the two shall be one flesh. Jesus named baptizers follow what Peter and Paul both taught. And Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The source of this is Jerusalem 33 AD, not Nicaea 325 AD. Here we see the title baptizers, teach baptized name, Go ye therefore teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. What is that name? Peter revealed it to us. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus is the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. There is no salvation in any other, for there is none under the name 
given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved. Acts 4 and 12. Father is a title. Son is a title. Holy Spirit is a title. Jesus is the name of salvation. Acts 4 and 12, as I said. Islam is a judgment on corrupt doctrines. Recall in the 20th century the Armenian Holocaust by the Turks, 1915 through 1918. 1 1.5 million Armenian believers were murdered, but they were title baptizers. The Muslim horde of locusts prophesied in Joel, the book of Joel, attacked Israel in 1948, 1967, 1973, and 2006. And very soon again, when we will see an alliance between Turkey and Iran to attack Israel. It's very soon going to happen. Then, of course, the famous Twin Towers, the New York City 9-11 debacle from the people of Saudi Arabia. Terrorist bombings, truck murders, hijackings. Where is all this occurring? Jerusalem, London, Paris, Spain, Boston, and recently Sri Lanka. The PLO, Hamas, Hezbollah, Al-Qaeda, Taliban, ISIS, and the Iranian Revolutionary Guards have all been identified as terrorist organizations. And here we see the Muslim horde, the locust horde, Syria, Iran, Turkey, Lebanon, Palestine, Palestinian, uh, Yemen, Indonesia, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and led by Gog, the land of darkness. Apollyon identified Revelation 9-11. Islam is one quarter of the world's population. Revelation 6-8 says this, John said, I saw a pale green horse, Shia Iran in my opinion, and the name of the one sitting on it was Death, Putin. And hell followed after him, and authority was given to them, that is, the four horsemen, over one-fourth of the earth. They destroy with sword, which is war, famine, and by death from wild beasts. Wild beasts are immoral, maniacal leaders who do not care about the living, only about power. That's the animal instinct to control. The everlasting gospel is the last event that will emerge before judgment. Read about it in Revelation 14, 6 through 8. And I saw an angel flying in the middle of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those dwelling on the earth, even to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a great voice, Fear God, give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made the heaven and the earth, and the sea and the fountains of waters. And another angel followed saying, the great city Babylon has fallen. Because of the wine of the anger of her fornication, she has made all nations to drink. What is the false gospel? Here it is, accept Jesus as your personal savior. Not found in scripture, it was invented by somebody in the 18th and 19th centuries. It does not save. It is not the gospel. That's why this angel comes with the everlasting gospel before judgment falls. Here we see the everlasting gospel. It's coming. It will be spoken again. It's been hidden by the council of Nicaea, but now it's declaring, repent, everyone of you be baptized in the name of Jesus. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Death, burial, resurrection. That is the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Paul identifies the gospel as death, burial, resurrection. Death is when we repent. Burial is when we are buried with him in baptism. Romans 6, 3 through 4. Who died? Jesus. That's why we're buried with him in his name. And receive the gift of the Holy Ghost is resurrection power. Well, that concludes our Bible study today. Many will be angry at this message. But if you're angry, you're angry with Scripture. Amos 3.3 3 says, How can two walk together except they are in agreement? Are we in agreement with the Scriptures? Paul said, Be baptized in Jesus' name. Acts 19.5 Peter said, Be baptized in Jesus' name. Acts 2.38 
and Acts 10, 43-48. And Philip baptized the eunuch in Jesus' name. Acts chapter 8. Can you say praise the Lord? Well, we'll see you next time here on another special edition of 153greatfish.com.